Hey guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas, and in this video, we are going to make a super airy and light chocolate frosting. The secret to the super airy chocolate frosting is a blender. Odds are you've probably never made chocolate frosting in a blender before, but the reason I like to do it in here is because it kind of gets everything very evenly smooth and creamy, and also whips tons of air into our frosting. So I'm gonna start off with just a tablespoon of milk. It could be skim, 1%, 2% whole milk, whatever you wanna do. Half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I have a stick of butter here that's softened. It's gonna go down on the bottom. I'm gonna add a third cup of cocoa powder, it's unsweetened cocoa powder. And then about a cup of confectioner sugar. I'm gonna put my lid on and we're gonna basically just pulse this until it all comes together, it kind of becomes like a chocolate butter. Go ahead and take the lid off and just take a spatula and distribute the ingredients just a little bit. That's already looking so fudgy and delicious. This blender, by the way, this is a Blendtec. It is the best blender I've ever used, and I'm actually giving one away this week on 15 Spatulas. So head over to 15spatulas.com and enter. This retails for around $570 with the twister jar, and one of you is gonna win one. I'm really excited. Okay, so turn this back on, and I'm just gonna pulse it a little bit more just to uh, get all that um, dusty cocoa powder and confectioner sugar kind of mixed into the butter. After your chocolate butter is nice and creamy and smooth, you can just scrape it out of your blender jar and put it into a bowl. So what I have here is some whipped cream. I took a quarter cup of heavy cream and I just whisked it by hand to soft peaks. And the way to test for soft peaks is you just stick your whisk down into the bottom, lift it up, and it should kind of fall over a little bit one way or the other. Okay, done with that. So we are going to fold about a third of this in to start, just to lighten our chocolate frosting. And this is pretty much the exact same thing that we did in last week's video when I filmed the chocolate eclairs with Hervé Cuisine at the Taste Made Studios. Remember I made the pastry cream and then we added the whipped cream to it just to give it a really nice, airy, light texture. We're doing the exact same thing here. Once you've finished folding the whipped cream into the frosting, you can go ahead and fill up one of these piping bags fitted with whatever shape piping tip you want and go ahead and pipe out cupcakes. Or you could do like a filling in a cake. I've got a little mini cake here that I've been nibbling on. But you could do a big cake, a nice moussey, light layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. I just garnished it with some chocolate sprinkles. Mmm, good, very good. The frosting, it's just so refreshingly light. Sometimes they're just so dense and thick and sugary. This one's kind of like a light, airy, cloud, chocolate mousse. So you can get this recipe on my food blog, 15spatulas.com. Put a link in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, don't forget to do that. I will see you next week with another cooking video.